Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can change login account on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. There are two types of login account. One is local account and another one is Microsoft account. Let me tell you the difference between local account and Microsoft account. If you're using local account on your Windows 10 computer, that means all your data will be saved locally on your system. And if you use Microsoft account, then all your data will be synced with Microsoft account. Say for example, if you're downloading some application using Microsoft Store, then you have to log in with your Microsoft account. And if you want to sync all your data with OneDrive, then you have to use Microsoft account. Here you can see I'm using local account. That's why here you can see I'm just getting local account. But if you use Microsoft account, here you will find your Microsoft email address. Now let me show you how you can change your login account on Windows 10. For that, simply click on start button, then click on settings, then click on account and here click on account information. As you can see here, I am using local account. Now if you want to use Microsoft account, here you will find login with your Microsoft account instead. Simply click on this option and log in with your Microsoft account. Here just provide your email address and password. And here you can see I had changed my login account to Microsoft account. Now if you want to use local account instead of Microsoft account, then here you will find the option to log in with your local account. Simply click on this option, then click on next, just enter your password, then create your local account. Say for example, The Coder World, here enter your new password, confirm your password and here enter your password hint. Say for example, local account, then click on next. Then click on sign out and finish. And it will get login to your local account. So this way you can change login account in Windows 11. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now, see you next video.